Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now I wanted to do a project that's highlighting the month of April. And a popular phrase that is said about April is April showers brings May flowers. Now I'm going to show you an art project that shows you a little bit more about that slogan. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll show you what you will need for this tutorial. Okay, for this you will need a paper. A pencil, I'm going to be using a Sharpie, but go ahead and use a pencil with an eraser. And also something to color with. Markers or crayons, anything. Alright, once you have your stuff, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, like how I said before, you could go ahead and do this in pencil, just in case you make any mistakes. But I'm going to go ahead and do it in Sharpie, just so you guys could see a little bit more better. Now go ahead and find the center of your paper. So I've found it with my finger first, then I'm going to go ahead and mark it with a dot. And we are going to be making our umbrella to look like a color wheel. So first we got to go ahead and do a horizontal line. And we're going to try to go mm -hmm. through that mm -hmm. dot. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do a vertical line going perpendicular in the other direction. Nice. Now we're going to do a diagonal line starting from the left top corner. We're going down, crossing our center point to the other side. Now we're going to do another diagonal line going in the opposite direction on the right side, going down to the left. Perfect. All right. Now to close our umbrella shape, we need to go ahead and add some curve lines. I'm going to go ahead and do a curve line, just like a smiley face. And I'm connecting to make a wedge. Right now it kind of looks like a spider web, but this is our umbrella shape. So I'm going to go ahead and connect each end of those lines to make our umbrella. Nice. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and work on our raincoat. So we're drawing um, like if there's somebody holding their umbrella. So we're going to go ahead and draw their raincoat with two diagonal lines. And we're going to connect it with the horizontal line. And we're going to add some buttons. So I need to go ahead and draw another diagonal line for this, you know, where you open and close your raincoat. I'm going to add some three buttons down on one side. And I'm not going to do the arms because I want it to look like the person is holding the umbrella. And then we're going to add some legs. So to do that, go ahead and add three short lines. And we're going to draw a horizontal line, but I'm going to leave a little bit of line sticking out from the sides. Draw a line down the middle. We're going to bring those two sides in and now on the middle line and the far right line, we're going to add a curve for our rain boots. You can kind of see it coming together now. So I'm going to add just three little tiny lines to extend our rain boots and let's go ahead and connect it with a line underneath. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and add some more detail. So I'm adding some lines on the top of my rain boots. And I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom of my rain boots with the skinny rectangle. Same as the other boot. And I'm going to go ahead and give mine some socks. So I'm just adding some two little lines there. Okay. So now we're done with our person and the umbrella. Let's go ahead and work on our background. So I want our little guy to be standing on a rain puddle. So I'm just doing like a squiggly splat of water. <laughs> just a little puddle. And it could look however you want it to look. If you want it to be a nice clean oval, it could be an oval. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some two storm clouds up in the sky. And to do that, I'm going to do a straight line going diagonally up. And then I'm going to do some arches, some curved lines. 
and they're different sizes and clouds look different. No two look alike. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Diagonal line to the left and some curvy bumps and I'm having it go off the paper so it looks a little bit more interesting. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a lightning bolt by doing a zigzag line and when I stop I want to make sure it's a nice and sharp so I'm going to start at the bottom and go zigzag on the way up. Nice and for my teardrop, well they look like teardrops but they're going to be raindrops I'm going to go ahead and add those underneath the clouds as it's coming down. Now, the reason why they say April's showers bring May's flowers is because in the month of April, it showers the most. It rains the most. It's the most rainy month of the year. And of course, whenever it rains, once the soil and the dirt outside is moist, and it seeps in through the soil and then all of our seeds in the ground, it starts to sprout and we have beautiful flowers in May. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this coloring part a little bit. Yeah, and we are going to be doing a color wheel for this. Now, a color wheel is just like a rainbow, but it's going around in a circle or like a wheel transitioning or going from one color to the next and an easy way to remember the order of the rainbow is remember the name Roy G. Biv. Each letter of his name Roy G. Biv is a color of the rainbow. R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue, I is for indigo. Indigo is just another, um, I guess, a fancy way of saying dark blue. It's a mixture of blue and purple, so indigo. And violet. Violet is another way to say purple. So Roy G. Biv. And I always have rainbows in my classroom to kind of help the students the order of the rainbow. But I always try to teach Roy G. Biv. And yeah. So I'm doing all of mine in marker. You could use whatever you have with you, whether it's crayons, watercolors, chalks, anything. So right now I'm doing indigo, which is a dark blue. And I have two spaces left. And I'm going to fill in the next color with violet or purple. And that last color that's going to be filled in, I'm going to be using a red violet or a magenta color. Magenta is more like brighter, more pink. But once you color it, like the marker looks pink that I'm using, but once you color it, it has a red violet which is a perfect blend of purple and red. Whenever I am painting or trying to put colors together, I always use a color wheel to help me figure out which colors work well with each other. In future videos, I will talk about primary colors, secondary colors, and also what are complementary colors, Anagalus um, colors and so on. So I'm just coloring in. And of course, you could do any colors that you want for your raincoat or your rain boots. You don't have to copy me, but for sure, I would love for all of y'all to follow how to do the color wheel. And I'm just using a black marker. And I'm going to leave a little highlight. A little space that's white on my boots to make it look like a nice shiny rubbery boot so I'm leaving a white line going vertical and I'm doing a nice curve of white so I could just yeah make it look like it's nice and squeaky so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a light blue crayon I'm coloring in my raindrops and also the puddle down below 
Now I'm leaving some white space in the puddle to show reflection to make it look like you know the puddle is nice and wet. So I'm not coloring it all the way, not all of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a gray crayon for the clouds and I'm coloring in dark on the bottom and I'm doing circle motions for the inside of my cloud but I'm not coloring all the way to the top. I'm leaving the top of my clouds white just to give it some dimension and to make it look a little bit more cool. All right, now with the yellow crayon, I'm going to go ahead and color in my lightning bolt. Nice. Let's see, okay, I think I'm done. I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Sharpie, sign it, and it is done. Our drawing came out so good. It's nice and colorful. And you see all of the colors of the rainbow starting from red all the way ending to magenta or red violet. It came out so good. It's really colorful. Um, I would like to see y'all's drawings. If y'all would like to follow my Facebook page, I'll link it down um, below. And then you could go ahead and post your completed drawings there. I would love to see it. I hope you like this video. Um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe already. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.